a complete makeover from right here in the lobby to the media center itself. Now come check this out. But as for now, you can see there is a long line forming behind me. Millennials could have a huge impact on this election, bigger than ever before. Remembering the tragic events that happened here one year ago today. Guys, the excitement is brewing here at the Watsko Center where the homecoming concert is set to kick off here in a little less than an hour. A living museum full of trees from all over the world and students are still picking up the pieces. Being a hurricane had been Daniel's dream ever since he first put on a football helmet and uniform when he was just 11 years old. This ballroom was transformed into a walk-in donation bank. It's one of the largest free freestanding simulation hospitals in the world. An interactive media screen. How cool is that? Mark Light shakes are a staple here at baseball games and I got the chance to try one myself earlier today. I was here yesterday to find out more about the structure and how it'll bring broken hearts together. On a day about love, a city comes together. When it does hit your hometown, there's just a sense of unity. With hammers and nails, saws and plywood. To say it's a labor of love would be an understatement. I think this place is just beautiful. It's the Temple of Time, built in two weeks by this guy, David Best, his crew and volunteers from across the city of Coral Springs. There's a lot of swerving in there. On a cloudy morning in South Florida, Oh, that's cold! The water is cold, but these divers have a job to do. I'm really excited. This is one of my favorite dives of the year. <laughs> Three, four, five. It's a critical situation. Seven, this man has multiple gunshot wounds, and nurses are working to save his life. 27, 28, 29. And then two words. Simulation complete. Simulation complete. Here's the catch. This man was never actually alive because he's a mannequin. Here at UM's newest addition, the Simulation Hospital, dedicated on Thursday, September 28th. This is one of my amazing oaks. It was 40 years ago when Shawnee Chassie of North just, Miami realized she had a thing for trees. I know that we're connected. I love them. She can tell you the name of every tree in her yard. This is the Langy Lang Gumbo Limbo. All right, I'm gonna give it a try. Wow, <laughs> that's really good. It was tied up to a stake, it had three white posts. He's talking about a rare tree from Africa, now gone. But it wasn't the hurricane that did it. Most of the damage to the Arboretum happened in the days that followed. I arrived at 7.50 on a Thursday morning right after the hurricane and there was a crew of 15 construction workers just going crazy in this area. Many of the trees Steve worked so hard to preserve run over by bulldozers. It was fine from the hurricane, but when they were bringing a bulldozer here, it just, it was gone. I think everyone really gave their all out there. I know I tried to do as much as I could, so. He plays for the Warriors, America's wounded warriors, Soldiers who've served in the United States military and have made it back home, some missing arms, legs, or both. The boys have different legs. They have this thing on their legs. To see them be able to do this, especially against people that were professionals, is very, very just enlightening and inspiring. Here's how it works. Broken corals are housed underwater on PVC pipe nurseries. There they grow and break off to create even more corals. Then Dalton and his crew instruct the divers on how to attach these corals back onto the seafloor using nails and zip ties. Within months, the corals have grown over the nails and are well on their way to creating a new reef. You cannot compare a 10 year old that has a concussion from hitting a soccer ball to a professional athlete that's been playing for many years. And I think that's where the conversation has to uh, really change. The individual achievement in Newscast Award goes to Head Games, Erica Ostad.